You bear the mark. You are cursed. Hello everyone, my name is Dak Hazard, and welcome to Black Ops 3, or more specifically, Shadows of Evil. So I am here today to show you some of the best routes I've found while in beast mode, because obviously if you're outside of single player, you only have, everyone only has one use per round, so you might as well make the most of it. So this first one here is pretty simple. So when you first pop this, you'll notice like the, your hands kind of freak out and you can't really do anything for a couple seconds. No, I've seen a couple people go for the uh, the door first, but you're stuck waiting for it for half a second, which is just wasting time. So yeah, you go straight to the box, you can hook up here, and instead of waiting for the stairs, because that's slow, just jump over the ledge and you can activate everything. Bam! Nice and easy. That one's, that one's pretty easy peasy. Waterfront District is probably one of the harder ones. I actually think it might be the hardest one. Because this one is super tight on time. Yeah, obviously hook up here. You can turn jug on or whatever perks is there. Activate that. And once again, still waiting for stairs. Because stairs are slow. Waiting is slow. We don't want to go slow. Look up here. Smash this. And now if you just run off of that ledge, you can actually make it over here. Which is really nice. You can jump, but it does take a second for you to actually hit the ground. Once again, wasting time. I don't like wasting time. Footlight District is probably one of the easier ones. Don't mind him. <laughs> French came online. Don't worry about that. Yeah, this one's this one's not as technical, but it is definitely uh, it's a bit tough as well. I think Waterfront is easily the hardest one. So yeah, obviously just jump up here, smack that, jump back down. Same thing there. I jumped, which waste time because you're not moving as fast you're probably better off just running off and if you have enough speed you'll make it right back over there but you saw there I had plenty of time to make it over there at the end and this is uh, this is a uh, cleanup route basically so obviously the box isn't open yet for the statue and that door isn't open and I actually had enough time here to run all the way over here to the fucking waterfront district and bust this door open too now you could obviously have gone up the stairs, I tried to here, and I was like, I'm out of time. Yeah, you can try and go up that way, open the box, it's up to you, but I don't think you have time to get both of them. Now, Canals is the only one where you cannot open the back area on one go, if you do it like this. So if you go up here, you can obviously, you know, turn on the machine, down the stairs, and then from this railing, you can jump into the canals. If you go straight into the canals first, you can, from down here, you can hook up to the, uh, the whorehouse or whatever is the ritual area up top. This is another cleanup I did right here. Got some sweet grenades out of a plant pod, my fucking favorite. So yeah, from right here, you can, right here, you can hook. This thing is a fucking hell of a range on it. You can go, like, cross map with this damn thing. But yeah, if you, so if you go into the canals first and do those three... From down there, I believe you can hook up to that top. You can't get the statue if you do that, though. You don't have quite enough time. It's me just kind of looking around. Yay! I got nothing to do. <laughs> and now, the final one, which is probably the easiest one, is the basement, of course. Now, you got the statue, and you got three things to turn on. There's Widow's Wine, there's Mule Kick, and then there's the door that leads up top. That... So this one, you have tons of time, so basically, that door opens immediately. This is me trying to guess that I, I didn't get it. <laughs> Imagine that. I'd like a fucking, <laughs> I don't know, like 150 chance of getting it randomly. Yeah, it's not possible. But yeah, so when you're downstairs and you still have uh, that leftover uh, beast mode, you can run back up here, because that door does open immediately back up, up to the surface. So if you have, like, this statue right here is still closed on this, this is that footlight, you could probably run here pretty easily, and then also open the door. You know, you can make the most of it. So those are the best routes that I've found, and they do take quite a bit of practice to get down. Uh, not quite a bit, but a little bit of practice. You have to, like, put some effort into it, because it is a lot of movement-based stuff. And you, as the squid monster, you are very, very floaty. Like, jumping around from rooftop to rooftop and shit. But, uh, yeah. So, that's the best I came up with. I hope this helps some people be uh, more efficient with their beast uses. And, uh, yeah. 
I'll see you guys next time.